what 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 Hello, Pro Video Studios here. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make your pictures look old fashioned, rustic, and kind of artistic. All in GIMP 2.8. Okay, so first, what we are going to do is, well, we're going to copy or cut all the images from our camera into the computer. So, this is, these are the three pictures that we'll be working with. This one. This one. And this one. Pretty good pictures, right? Well, we're going to make them better. Okay, so first, what we are going to do is open up GIMP 2.8. It is a free photo editing software, and it's really good. So here we have GIMP, we can just put these right here, because we don't need them. So first what we're going to do is go up and import our pictures. So let's go to desktop, uh, right there. Let's work with the one with the plants first. So we'll open that up. Okay. So first, what we're going to do is we are going to adjust, make it, we're going to make this in black and, roll, black and white. So what we're going to do, I think it's uh, colorize. And then bring the saturation down all the way to zero. And that makes it black and white. Looks pretty good. But what we're going to do is we're going to make it even better. In my opinion. So we're going to go up to colors. And do brightness contrast. And this is what's going to give it the artistic kind of effect. So what we're going to do is decrease the brightness a little bit. To bring out the detail. I think that's about good. And then we're going to increase the contrast. Uh, okay, so I think that looks good. And that's it for black and white. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a picture look sepia, kind of. So we're going to open our image. Let's do this one. Okay, so what we're going to do to make it sepia is we're going to go to colors. Then go to uh, colorize. And that's not sepia. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag the hue slider to around kind of like 30-ish. You can see that's a little more of an orange-yellow tone. And the farther, I mean the less number, like the smaller the number from where we are right now, it's going to get more red. So we're going to go up a little bit to 
between kind of yellow and orange. So I think 37 is about good for hue. Now saturation, you're going to bring it down to not too much. Let's go with uh, 35. Okay, and so let's go back up to colors and adjust our brightness and contrast again. So we're going to bring down the brightness a little bit, maybe. How about to like 10? And increase the contrast again. And you know, I think that's pretty good. And there you have it. Sepia. Okay, so how about we make another black and white image? Because we have uh, three pictures, and so far we've only done two. So we're going to go back and open it. Let's do one of my dog now. My dog is very spunky. Okay, so we're going to go back up to colors, colorize, uh, bring the saturation all the way down, go back up and do brightness contrast, bring down the darkness, I mean the brightness a little bit because it's already kind of dark, then increase the contrast. I think that's about good. And there you have it, another black and white picture.